Hey everybody, how's it going today? I want to do a unpackaging review of the Milwaukee 6-in-1 8-gauge to 20-gauge wire stripping capacity comfort grip 6-in-1 pliers part number we're looking at is 48-22-3079Y there's a reamer, bolt cutter, wire stripper, loop maker, wire cutter, and pliers. Comfort grips will not peel. Limited warranty, all metal, lock. Some illustrations on the back. Forge strength. Machine precision, rust protection. And as far as the weight goes, the weight of the tool is pretty solid. Uh, sometimes I like to compare weight to the quality of a tool. Sometimes Adds up sometimes it doesn't now here we have the tool from the front the tip here is more like a needle nose plier Nice finish, really nice finish. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 solid. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20 stranded. Warning, do not use on live circuits. 832 is here, or 830 seconds. 6.30 seconds here. The loop maker is on this side. So, when you open it up, and it opens for you, but it doesn't, like, spring open, like, as if you're going to uh, lose control of the tool. So it's got a nice spring open but it's more on the relaxing side so it's not gonna pop open on you it'll just open sesame on you so that's pretty nice uh, as far as the tip goes these teeth right here are really really nice really grabby I'm gonna compare the tip to a standard needle nose plier Well, you can see that. So it is squared, squared off a little bit, but uh, as far as uh, height, I guess you could say, meaning going this way, it is a little bit taller than a standard needle nose plier, but not by much. And width, you see the width from my angle is a lot skinnier. It's a skinnier, but it is more squared. I like it. It's it's nice. It's, it sits well in the hand. You can. Uh, Lock and unlock that with one hand, no problem. The rubber does feel quite good. I don't know if it's rubber or silicone, or, but the grip itself. 
So I got a couple of wires we're going to go ahead and try and test on. I have here some Romex 8.3. So 8 gauge, 3 conductor. I thought maybe I'd just go for it. But uh, 8.3 probably doesn't sit well. It says that uh, it can strip eight solid. So we'll just try this anyway and see how we uh, cut our grounding wire. Pop it off real nice. We'll see how it cuts. Actually cut that real well. And uh, we'll see if we can strip it. We were able to strip it. Let's see if I can get a, a longer strip on this one. So I did cut into the wire while stripping it. I'm just going to call it quits on that. I've got some number 10 Romex we'll see how these cutters with the groove and all will go through the shielding on the Romex first let me try this side It did cut through all three. So this is Romex 10-2. Look at that. Pop that off. We're going to go with our 10 solid. Butter. We have here some number 12 solid pop 
pop that off real nice. We have here some more Real Mix, 14-2. Now it goes through the 14-2 a lot easier than it did the 10-2, uh, the but that's to be expected. Try and do that again. I may have cut through that too deep. Nice, good, clean cut on the Romex 14.2. Two. Now we have some number 10 stranded. Cut through that real easy. And try it again. So the bottom one here is for number 10 stranded. Let's try that again. That wire was putting up a fight. So you see we're not cutting through all the way. some number 12 stranded cut through that pretty nice and uh, sorry for the uh, banging around on the camera there I'm actually trying to work around my camera so that's probably why my cuts aren't coming out so good we got some 16 stranded Went to that pretty easy. And here we got some 18 stranded.
So uh, all in all, it does feel like a really good tool. It, it's not grabby. It's all of the movements are just fluid. I like how it has all the details on both sides of the tool as far as the wire stripper goes. Now, let's try out the loop maker. So let's try making a loop with the handle closed. That was actually pretty nice. Try it again. Now let's try making a loop with the handle open. So it is open, so it goes all the way through. So there's a loop maker. So I think I would uh, prefer to make a loop with the handle closed. All in all, would I recommend it? Yes. Uh, when this one goes bad, if there's not a newer model, I'd buy it again. I wouldn't buy it for a gift because I would keep it for myself. So that concludes my review. Sorry I wasn't able to get a couple bolts in there. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.